Good morning. It's Monday again. Good morning, everyone. This is a beautiful Monday morning in central Illinois. It is a little bit chilly. It's 36 degrees out there, but the sun is shining. The sky is a clear blue, and it should be a beautiful day. I hope you all had a good weekend. I had a fabulous weekend, and a big part of that was worship. And most of it is 99.9% .9 of the worship now is online. We have a few people in the sanctuary when we prepare the services, but uh, the worship does something for my soul, and it helps me to get oriented for the week and settled in the week, and I hope it speaks to you too. Speaking of yesterday and worship, we talked about a passage from 1 Thessalonians 5, and what happened, when do we know that the end of the world is coming? And in that sermon, and if you want to see that sermon, it's a pretty good one actually, you might want to go and check it out on the church pages or on the YouTube channel at the Iliopolis Christian Church Facebook page or Nyanic Christian Church Facebook page. The YouTube page is Nyanic Iliopolis Christian Church or Iliopolis Nyanic. It's hyphenated, Nyanic and Iliopolis. But those services are always there. Anyway, I wanna expand on what I talked about yesterday. And yesterday was about how things wrap up in this world. And today, I want to talk about, on an individual level, what happens when I die. It's a question I get quite a bit. And the Bible doesn't tell us a lot about that, but it does tell us some things. First of all, we know that um, when Jesus was on the cross, in the Gospel of Luke, there was a criminal surrounding, flanking him on both sides, and the one said, Jesus, you don't deserve this. Please remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said, truly I tell you, today you will celebrate with me in paradise. That's quite a statement. And the first part about it is today. Today you will celebrate with me in paradise. So that tells me that that when we die, we enter into immediately a new place. And not just any kind of place, but Jesus calls it paradise. So that sounds like a good place to be. Sounds like somewhere I'd like to, to spend some time, you know, maybe eternity. I don't know. And he said, celebrate. Today you will celebrate with me in paradise. So from that statement alone, we know some things that happen, happens when we die. We're reunited with Christ. It is in paradise. It is immediate. And there's celebration. That's quite a bit to know. What it looks like and all of that, I... We're not given those details. I guess we don't need them. We're given what we need to know. And that is that today we celebrate with Jesus in paradise. The day we die, we are reunited with Christ. Now, we might wonder about what happens to our loved ones that have already passed away. Or what happens to those who haven't made a confession of faith, who don't know Jesus. And frankly, there are a lot of different opinions on this, but I'm going to come from the place and my interpretation of the Bible and scripture and faith is that Christ has died for all of us, not for some of us, for all of us. And when we die, we will be reunited with him. Now, the degree that we know him here will be the degree perhaps that we recognize him there. So, yeah, is there a point in <clears throat> living out our faith and building faith here? Absolutely. Knowing Christ here will open us up to experiencing Christ then and there. Now, <clears throat> I had another insight on this. 
when I was getting close to time to deliver my son, well, I didn't know he was a son at that point. We didn't find out if it was a boy or girl. But eight and a half months had crawled by and I was thinking about the delivery, trying not to focus on the the fear part and the pain part because you know you hear stories you know but i was thinking about that time and then i started to wonder i wonder what it's like for the baby and i really sat and thought about this because for that baby that's inside it's had a pretty controlled chill life up to that point right i mean all the Food is there, the nutrients are there, all things needful for life are present and on demand. And it's quiet-ish. I mean, I know that babies can hear things happening in the world, but kind of like when you're underwater in a swimming pool, I would imagine is how that would be. You can still hear things, but they're not sharp and they're muffled. And it's dark. There are no bright lights, nothing glaring or blaring. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, that baby is going to experience a crushing awakening. And I'm sure it's a little painful for the baby. It squeezes all of that amniotic fluid out of their lungs so that they can gasp for air. And I imagine they're going to feel that. And they are coming into a world that's bright and loud. And there's not really too many quiet delivery rooms, I don't think. But all I could think of was I wanted to be able to tell that baby not to panic. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You're not dying. Your world isn't coming to an end. You're being born. And there's this whole great big world full of magic and mystery and love just waiting for you. And then it hit me. I mean, I literally stopped in my tracks. I thought, oh man, is that what the Bible is trying to tell us? Is that what Jesus is trying to tell us? Don't be afraid. Every time an angel of God comes to talk to somebody, the first thing they say is, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. So when we die, don't be afraid. I don't think it's dying. I think that there's a whole world full of mystery and magic and love just waiting to welcome us there it might hurt a little bit to get there but when we get there it's a whole new life and that's what I would like to share with you this morning is we know what we need to know we know that it will happen on that day when we die Jesus tells us we will be reunited with him and we will celebrate with him and it will be paradise. We're not dying, friends. We're being born into a whole new life. I hope that's a comfort to you. It's a comfort to me. Some of you may remember Sister Lois, who served in the Iliopolis Parish for quite some time. She and I often would sit on the porch and have a cup of coffee and or tea and just chit chat for a while and one day as we were sitting there rather quietly she turned to me and she said you know Melissa said I think if we had any idea what's waiting for us on the other side that we would run into church each Sunday and say we are one week closer one week closer it's a powerful thought isn't it I think so. I think so. It doesn't mean that we don't mourn for those who have reached the, there before we have. Of course we do. We miss them. They leave a terrible hole and an emptiness in us for a while until we rejoin them. And it's going to be fantastic. So I hope that gives you some comfort and some encouragement. Reach out if you have any questions at all i would love to talk about it i would love to hear your thoughts on it and if you like this video if it's meant something for you please share it with your friends it might mean something to them as well 
and I invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel or like the church's Nyanic Christian Church, Iliopolis Christian Church's pages so you can follow us in the future. Have a good week, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.